First question, why did you start doing street art and not another kind of art? Well, the reason why I started with uh, graffiti was uh, because I had family living in New York. And from 1975 on, I went to New York at least once a year. And um, it was around 85 when I started to realize what graffiti was. And um, going to New York, you had to be confronted with uh, graffiti. You uh, could see graffiti everywhere, on the streets, on the trains, and seeing these bright colors and um, the, the colorful pieces on the train, um, just, yeah, when, when I saw that, I knew I had to do graffiti. And uh, that was the time I fell in love with it. Okay. Um, so what do you think is so interesting in street art that you don't find in other kinds of art? Um, that's hard to say. But you know, graffiti is something very strong. And uh, to understand graffiti, I think you have to know um, what New York City was like in the 70s and 80s. Um, New York was a, was a sort of a jungle. It was uh, a lot of crime, a lot of drugs. And um, people doing graffiti back then came out of bad neighborhoods. And um, they had no perspective. Uh, they had no money, they had poor education. And um, to, to be involved into, into graffiti meant to do something creative and to a certain extent not to get involved with drugs and crime. Um, so it was something positive. And um, this wasn't the case for me because I was coming from Germany. And um, to me, it was only the aesthetic of graffiti that, yeah, that was something very interesting and something that I knew I wanted to do. Okay. Um, why did you start in New York and not Saarbrücken? I mean, you said it, but in Saarbrücken there was, it's also graffiti, but I think for you, New York is... Well, <coughs> graffiti is, is like the, the place where graffiti comes from. And um, I don't think that I would, would have done graffiti if I hadn't had family in New York. So this was actually the, the reason why I got started. And uh, back in that time in Germany, there weren't um, a lot of graffiti artists. I mean, here in this area, you couldn't find anyone. Of them. So you had to go to the big cities, Munich, Hamburg, uh, but over here, there were none. No, no. Yeah. Ho, ho. Okay. Um, have you ever been into trouble because of uh, graffiti? Oh, uh, well, I don't <laughs> think I, I really want to talk about that. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, graffiti is, is something that is originally um, illegal. So as soon as you hear the word graffiti, a lot of people think of something illegal. Uh, but on the other hand, I just say to myself, um, what is worse, uh, being involved into crime or being involved into an art form and uh, not to harm anyone? I think it's uh, a lot more positive to uh, do something creative. So, do you still paint on walls? Uh, actually, I don't. I uh, stopped painting on walls about two years ago. I uh, started again about six months ago because uh, I had to go to New York and to Montreal uh, because there was a, a TV station that um, wanted to go to New York with me and they wanted to go back to the sources. So that was the reason why I started to, to paint walls again. But still legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. And why do you stop? Are there things you dislike about painting on walls? 
Um, it's not. It's not about painting on walls. It's more the. Um, it's more a question of. Um, of the graffiti scene because uh, everybody thinks that graffiti is something free, but it's not. The graffiti scene has so many rules. Um, you have to follow, and if you don't follow these rules, um, you're not accepted. So that was that was a thing that that I didn't like about graffiti. And um, to do something new, you have to just yeah go over these rules and do something new. Can you give an example of these rules? Um, well, graffiti. In, in for hardliners, graffiti always had to be done with uh, spray paint and had to be done on the outside and always had to be illegal. And I, I just have another perspective on that. I uh, think that why does it have to be spray paint? It could be normal paint as well. And uh, why do the letterings always have to be horizontal? And why do um, the letters always have to follow um, a certain alignment and uh, yeah that that was simply something I didn't like about graffiti okay do you think street art has become mainstream or does it still have this rebellious side um, well the thing is that I don't really know, um, there are so many words um, for this type of art. Um, some people call it urban art, other people call it street art, other people would call it post-graffiti. Um, to me, street art is something that is that has to be done in the streets. And urban art is something that How should I say? Um, they have they have different perspectives uh, on this this art form, but one thing they have in common is that they come from from the city. Uh, whether it's uh, traditional New York graffiti, uh, stencil graffiti, or uh, poster and sticker art, it doesn't matter. the The only thing that's essential in that art is that it comes from the city. And to answer the question, um, if it's something mainstream, I don't really know. I don't think so. I don't think so. But you have to um, leave things behind to do something new. And if you do that, some people say it might be mainstream, but I don't think it is. And what advice would you give to young street artists or urban artists? Um, just don't stick to the rules, don't stick to old things, just try to do new, new stuff. Um, you could be, um, I mean, you, you could take elements of it, but just try to do something new. That's the most important thing, I, think, I believe. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. thanks a lot.